Hi everyone, my name is Heidi. I'm one of the gorilla keepers here at the Toronto Zoo. We're celebrating World Gorilla Day and want to tell you all about our fabulous gorillas. And uh, so who better to start off with than our iconic silverback Charles. People have such great memories of him all the way back from the, uh, the days when the zoo first opened in 1974. He was just a toddler uh, when he arrived, but he's grown up to be a magnificent male and he has sired many offspring over the years and he's proven to be an excellent father time and time again. At uh, 430 pounds, it's hard to miss him. He's 47 years old now and has certainly slowed down in his golden years, but he still remains vigilant about protecting his family and keeping order within the troop. So when I started uh, working with Charles, he was in his teenage years and he was going through his punky stage that uh, all male gorillas go through. Um, but I've seen him uh, grow up over the years and he's mellowed quite a bit in his older age. Um, one thing that Charles does, uh, uh, he makes these happy sounds when he sees his food coming and especially when it's a, a favorite item and uh, it's really nice to hear that sound. And also when we wish them all a good night, uh, he frequently answers in his gorilla language and uh, we all melt when we hear him replying. Josephine uh, is another longtime resident here at the zoo. Um, just like Charles, she arrived in, in 1974 and she has stolen our hearts ever since. Uh, during her 48 years here at the zoo, she's had um, quite a few offspring with the last one being born 18 years ago and that would be Jahari who is still in the group. Uh, Josephine is considered to be our smartest gorilla and she gets into all sorts of mischief. Uh, which usually has us laughing but also keeps us on our toes. Uh, her antics are often the topic of our lunchtime chats. Uh, her personality is certainly different from the rest of the gorillas and she's a girl that will let you know if she likes you or not. Uh, thank goodness I've always been in her good books. And one thing that we do for the gorillas on a daily basis is give them herbal uh, tea to drink and uh, and Josephine really really enjoys drinking the tea so it's our special time to sit there and um, have a one-on-one -on -one with her and, uh, and let her drink the tea. Hi, my name is Michelle and I'm one of the Gorilla Keepers. I'm going to tell you a little bit about Ngozi. Ngozi is the first adult female that we've successfully introduced to our established family group, which was for sure a learning curve with all of the staff and the other gorillas. She is now the highest ranking female and a mother of three. This sassy and protective mom is pretty vigilant with the keepers who are trying to photograph her kids. Anytime we try to take photos of the baby, we receive a poke on our phones, and now Nika's also picked up this habit from mom. So if you're visiting the gorillas and you want to spot Ngozi, she'll be the one with the baby on her back. Hi, my name is Sue, and I'm one of the gorilla keepers here at Toronto Zoo. All the gorillas have such unique personalities, but uh, Jahari stands out pretty high for me. Uh, she's one of the favorite ones for me and Jahari is a lot of fun to work with. Uh, she loves training and she's very motivated and she learns new behaviors really quickly so it just kind of adds to her charm. One thing that Jahari really likes and we call her our fashionista extraordinaire because Jahari really likes to wear clothing items or cloth. She'll either wear it around her waist or like a scarf She'll put on hats better than I can put them on and she'll wear them all day sometimes. And occasionally we give her t-shirts that are either donated or uh, that are no longer used here by staff. And she'll wear those too and eventually they turn into a cape or a drape or something. So anytime you look at our YouTube videos or if you see any special uh, events that we do with the gorillas, often you'll see Jahari sporting one of those caps or a shirt or something and uh, kind of adds to her charm and her style. So she's definitely one of the favorite ones for me. And uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about Siddiqui here. Siddiqui is one of our uh, bachelor group members. He's maturing into such a great silverback. He's 14 years old now. I've been working with him since he's about eight years old. And at the moment, he's hovering around 440 pounds. But that doesn't uh, mean much because he doesn't show his brute strength at all. He's really quite gentle. Uh, you can give Siddiqui his meal or a treat in a box or a bag and he'll often hand you back or you can get the box and bag and use it again. He doesn't destroy it. Um, we can give him a drink and a cup and we get the cup back again. He doesn't destroy things uh, like you might think you would at some, somebody that large. 
Um, also, uh, he plays really gentle with his brother Nasser all the time. Those two have been great companions for each other. And we know that uh, Siddiqui is going to be a great father someday just by his gentle nature that we see. Uh, over the summer, we've been trying to do some new training with him, and he's started a, a little exercise sessions that he and I have been doing, basically just to fill the time and also to help him stretch out. And, um, and he's done, he's picked it up really good, and he actually likes doing it. It's a lot of fun. We do it together. So um, I get my exercise too. But uh, again, Siddiqui's going to be a great silverback. He's on his way to being one, and, and uh, we know that uh, when he gets that family someday, he's going to be a wonderful leader. Hi, I'm Allie. I am one of the gorilla keepers here at the zoo. Um, I have been here for the birth of all three of Charles and Ngozi's kids. The oldest one and first being Nasser. Uh, right now, Nasser's 10 years old and he uh, is the youngest member of our bachelor group. He's living with his older half brother, Siddiqui. Um, watching them together and play is quite comical for us. Uh, Nasser is quite a cheeky uh, gorilla and he's full of personality. He's very playful still and he will definitely uh, try to instigate his older brother Siddiqui at play and uh, game of wrestling. Um, they will, uh, he'll throw mulch at his brother or he'll throw shavings at his brother to try to entice Siddiqui to chase him um, and they always have a good play a good uh, run around and uh, us the keepers we really enjoy watching how they interact with each other. Nasser when they're done playing and ready to have a rest and relax uh, we'll put on a gorilla video of gorillas at other zoos and he'll pull up a bucket to sit in and some snacks and lounge and sit and watch a video of uh, other gorillas at other zoos and, and enjoy that. And us as keepers, we really get a kick out of watching him um, basically act really silly and then chill out like kind of the way you would if you were tired. And that's one of the things that I really love about Nasser. So now with Nika, she's the middle offspring of Ngozi and Charles, and it has been great seeing her since I was here, since she's been born. It's been great watching her grow from a uh, really sassy, cheeky little uh, girl, and at times I would dare say diva-like, um, into a much more independent and mature female. Um, she's becoming a uh, or she is a great big sister to her little baby sister, Charlie. Uh, often Ngozi gives her babysitting duties and presents Charlie to her uh, when Ngozi needs a break. And uh, so that's great for her to have all this experience. One day when she has her own family, she'll have some great experience being a mom and taking care of uh, little ones. Um, but she's gone from uh, being this little girl to now she's becoming more mature uh, she definitely is stands up to her mom uh, when they have issues and um, she definitely one day will be a dominant female in whichever family group she ends up in uh, but that's something that we're all really excited to see one day and uh, definitely she's going to be the boss lady of her group and that last but definitely not least is our little baby Charlie we like to call her often because uh, we have a big Charlie her dad and she's baby Charlie uh, she's the youngest of the offspring of Ngozi and Charles and there is definitely something special about this little girl uh, she has definitely captivated my heart and all of the keepers here actually um, we haven't had a baby like her in quite a while I would say uh, she's definitely a little bit different than her older brother and sister Nasser and Nika uh, she's very keeper focused and there's just something about her that when she looks at you you just become like engaged with the her stare uh, it's very similar actually to her older half sister Jahari uh, in that when they look at you it's as though they're looking into you and she, just something happens and you just sort of melt because she's just the cutest little thing um, that we've had uh, in, in a while and uh, she's just really really special to all of us and we definitely cannot wait um, to see her and watch her grow up and uh, see what kind of uh, 
girl she turns into. Uh, but for now, she's sort of captivated all of our hearts here. And uh, we, we really, really love her a whole lot. Well, we know how lucky we've been uh, to be working with our gorilla troop. So why not come out and visit, visit our troop and, um, and meet the gorillas and chat with one of us gorilla keepers during our daily keeper talks at the gorilla exhibit. We'd love nothing more than to tell you all about our gorillas and the status of gorillas in the wild.